Today we celebrate the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ as King of the Universe. Pilate struggled with Jesus' identity of his kingship. In the Gospel of John, Pontius Pilate asked Jesus about his identity. Are you the King of the Jews? We know and understand that earthly kings demand service from their subject, but Christ the King serve his subject. We are aware that for our young people, their self-identity is also a challenge, and their quest for self-discovery is particularly important as they mature to adulthood. Our world seeks and teaches our young to pursue honor, but Christ humbled himself to earn righteousness. In the U.S., Bishop noted in their pastoral plan of ministry with the young adults that we adults must be vigilant of our youth with their indifferences. Stated that while young individuals continue to mature through their life and various experiences influence the development of their pastoral personal identity. They carry heavy burdens in their lives, trying to fit as individual. But with Christ in our lives, He carry our burdens of sins. These are significant years of growth and decision making as they develop physically, socially, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. They also encounter who God is to them in their life. Yet, social media, cultural colonization, various pressures, and life among their peers can influence them to mask or pretend their true selves. They either hide or neglect their cultural heritage, create illusion of self-control, or focus on negative habits As young believers, I hope you must see Jesus' identity as a servant king. As young Christians, you must take time to your faith, in your faith, to journey and reflect your own identity. Remember, Jesus' kinship is not one of earthly power and authority, but one of humility and meekness. As he said, My kingdom does not belong to this world. The world teaches and provides riches and power, but Christ emptied himself on the cross for the salvation of the world. Christ's kinship goes beyond human understanding of the world and his identity as greater than the reputation, the assumption, or projection could never envision by man. It's much the same way our identity as beloved son or daughter of God is greater than human words can describe. The world gives opportunity for domination, but Christ called us friends to share his victory and new life. Young people may worry about the way they were perceived, that the action of their past would define them, which sometimes our elders mistakenly perceive it. Truly, God's kingdom and His definition of identity is greater than these worldly conditions that we are defining who Jesus is in our life. Jesus died for His subject for us. But worldly kings allow their subject to die for them. Remember, our earthly king put crown of gold and demands, but Christ were crown of thorns to remind us of our sorrow we are facing. Young adults, please. 
put your trust in God that we all have a Savior who is powerful beyond imagination and wants to help us in our challenges. As Pope Francis noted, if you have lost your inner vitality or self, your dreams, your enthusiasm, your optimism, and your generosity, trust God as your spiritual companion. Jesus stood before you once in your baptism or in the sacrament. I am encouraging you, invite you to see Christ as the King who raised you up from your loneliness and give you and renew your identity and purpose for life. He is our Good Shepherd. As young people, please consider the most essential part of your own identity, one that challenges cultural norms. But your true ultimate identity as Christians is your relationship with the living God. Be courageous to bring your relationship with the right responsibility as you identify Jesus as in your life. Be a servant for all. To follow the footsteps of Christ the King, we must look to his identity as a servant leader and embrace the attitude of his sacred heart. Our consolation is Christ hangs on the cross and our earthly leaders sit on a royal throne. With compassion, respect and forgiveness, generosity and courage, confidence and integrity. And when we do all this, we put on Christ for the life of the world. Be with Jesus all the time, the King of the universe. May God bless us all.